Uh, hi guys, welcome to another building tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make anything respawnable. I'm just going to use this pushing platform for an example. With a uh, push with uh, spawn buttons, you can like basically spawn anything here in the kit. You can't I don't you can't spawn some things though, but you can spawn most things. I'm going to use an X pusher for an example. So what you want to do is click on the push box, right click, group as a model name it push box like so and then you can delete the actual push box come to the come to here name your pushing plot name the parts in your pushing platform push box now what you want to do is move the pushing platform into uh, the push box the pushing the button model and then push it put it in the push box model that we made earlier remove the coval I always use the plugin um, where, 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 there we go. Um, now, what you want to do is click this part of the X pusher, click on the plus right here, type in bool value, and then name it box anchor, or else it won't work. Like so. And it should work unless I did something wrong. So let's test it. Oh yeah, it should be invisible when it spawns. And uh, yeah, that's how you do it. You don't have to, by the way, you don't have to do the box anchor thing with like the other client objects, but for X pushers and rope swings and I think tilting platforms, you have to do that, but all the others you don't. But um, yeah, that's how you make respawnable uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.